Hi guys, this is ASH and you're watching me on my YouTube channel. <laughs> you might remember I did a video about a month ago when me and my friend Rob here, say hello Rob. Hi guys. We went down to see a car in um, Lincoln and it was actually this car, the Range Rover Sport. So he's had this for a bit, but I think he's bored of this car. What do you think of this car, Rob? You've had it for a few weeks. No, it's good. I can't decide to keep it or not. But uh, I've always liked Porsche Cayennes. They're sporty. And uh, especially with the Aero kit and the Panamax. And that's what we're going to see now, a Porsche Cayenne. That's what we're going to see now. Tell us about the car you're going to see today. Uh, it's a Porsche Turn Cayenne. Left. It's a 3 litre Turbo S. Uh, it's got uh, it's a white one with the panoramic sunroof and it's got the aero body kit on it which is all factory spec with the I think it's 21 inch turbo wheels so it's a highly specced car so it's uh, it's on a 2000 and it's a 62 plate registered 2013 uh, sounds like a really good car so let's go see it Yes. I know you've got another Q7 as well. No, got rid of that. So Have you got rid of the Q7? Yeah, actually just got rid of that uh, in the weekend. Okay, what would you say the difference between the Q7 and this Range Rover Sport is? Right, Q7, yep, it's a more sporty, it's a much sportier drive than this Range Rover Sport. This Range Rover Sport, it's got a nice, um, it's a heritage, isn't it? British heritage. Uh, the Land Rover and everything, so it is a nice car. In 400 yards, Lux luxury. I like the seats in it, the cream of seats and everything, but it's not that way. fast. Well, okay. it's not that sporty. It is fast once you turn it into sports mode, but I don't think for me it's not sporty. In 100 yards, so after the Q7 and the Range Rover, this is your exit. preference. This yeah. is preference in the sense of you've got a bit more heritage, the Land Rover name Take and everything. The first exit. Uh, and I like the interior of this car, but the Q7 is a much better drive. But better than both of them is the Cayenne. Yeah. The drive on the Cayenne is awesome. As soon as you uh, jump into a Cayenne, you know you're in a Porsche uh, quality pedigree. Yeah. And the drive is sporty all the time. So guys, you heard it from him. Now we are going to, where are we going, Rob? Uh, Leamington Spa. And that's in? Uh, Warwickshire. It towards Birmingham, towards the uh, Coventry. Yeah. So we're just hitting on the motorway, and I should probably take us what about an hour and a half. Uh, let's see what the sat nav is saying. Sat nav saying estimated time seven twenty-two, and it's five thirty-six now. So uh, nearly two hours. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, we're gonna just take it easy, chill. As you know, these cars are for like cruising, not for speeding. Basically, just relaxing and chilling. So we're going to get there nice and take it nice and steady and we'll show you how the car is. So if he likes the car then we'll get it. So guys keep on watching. Peace. The previous one, the one before that was VW and the one before that was Porsche. Right, okay, alright. Um, and when was the last one done? Uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, and that's a Porsche one, okay. Yeah. Right, okay, so you've got... Um, does, does it have a service book and it's stamped? It does, yeah. Right, the service yeah. book as well, yeah. The old stamp. It's all oh, stamped. Okay, it's all stamped. And you've got the invoices and stuff for I have, the, yeah. That, I mean, I could email all of that to you tomorrow. I can put, I yeah. can uh, scan it and email it to you. Yeah, but if you want me, but I, I'll be a good hour. It's, I'll be 80 minutes, so it's, I'll be on the half. If I leave now right away and go to the office and come back, oh, I won't get back. Okay. I, I won't get back here till what now? It's 27, it'll be 20 to 8. Uh, it'll be about 8 o'clock before I get back. Right, okay, that's fine. Alright then, no, I'll come anyway now. I'm nearly there, so you can... You want me to... I can go and get it for you if you want no, me to. No, like you say, it's going to be an hour and a half, isn't it? If you go back to the office yeah, now. Yeah, it's 40 minutes to that. Yeah. It's 40 minutes to no, the airport. I, I, no. I, my office is just past the airport. Right, It'll no, be 40 each way. Yeah, no, you, uh, you could probably email me that through. I, I can email all that. I can scan that in in the morning and email the lot to you. Alright then, that's fine. I'll see you in about 45 minutes then. Okay. Yep, okay, fine. Okay, yep, then yep. see you in a bit. Okay, cheers, Thanks. bye. Thanks, bye bye. On to the Oxford Road.
this Range Rover sat nav is absolutely rubbish. It always tells you it at the last the minute, at the there. last second. It messed us up a few times. We missed a few exits because it always tells the last second. Range Rover, you definitely need to update your sat nav system because it's absolutely rubbish. Yards. Nice day. Well, that's with everything else. The new beast, is it? Yeah. Okay. I like the interior, it looks really nice. Yeah, it's a nice Was it three years? Three years. So it expired in 2016. Yeah, I bought it. I bought it. I bought it three years. So it's just new pads. Mm -hmm. um, a complete as uh, for now. Shipping us in the invoice to see you. Yeah. Um, Six months ago. So the brand new. Yeah. Probably nine months ago. Yeah. That's a brand new car. Hi guys, we're here at the Stice Estate. Well, this guy's got a few Porsches. As you see, there's a black one and there's a white one. We've come to see the white one. And it's a really nice area. It's absolutely amazing. So many beautiful houses here. And they're all like mansions, every single one of them. Even the house we're at now, I think that's like a six bedroom house. It's absolutely massive. As you can see behind me there. Look at that. Amazing. So he's just gone down there to have a private word to see if he could sort the deal out. If he likes the car, then he's going to buy it. But by looking at the car, it's immaculate. Really nice white, pearl white. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful all inside the interior, the paintwork, no dents, no scratches. Everything's amazing. So let's have a quick look and see what we could do. Are you going to go for a little quick yeah, spin? Yeah, we're going to go, I think. Yeah. Uh, oh, you can come with us. No, I'd rather yeah. just do this. Right, okay. Okay, you guys go. I'll just right, stay go. here for a bit. Sit in a bit. I think they're just going for a little test drive. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I like this car. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, that's it. So they've just gone for the test drive now. I think he's going to take it for a blast around the... Um, countryside because all this area is just all countryside and I'm going to just chill here for a bit and let it comes back but this guy's got some really nice cars as you saw that black one there that is a beast and um, he's apparently bought a, a Lamborghini as well so the Lamborghini is actually in his garage in there and I think they're going to go for only about a good 10 15 minutes. So once they get back, if they like it, it's a Porsche. Hi, hello. This one looks smaller. It's a GTS. Guys, this is the beast. I mean, the Porsche 4x4. So, he's speaking to the guy who's trying to sort a deal. If the deal goes through, then we're going to buy this car. And we're going to pick it up in another day. Um, they went for a private test drive, just him and the guy, because I think the guy was a little bit worried, a bit skeptical seeing two Asian guys dressed in black. So I was waiting in this car for a bit, but they've been, and Rob seems quite pleased. He's had a look at it, but look at this car, guys. I'd rather you don't photograph the house if you don't mind, please. Can you not photograph the house? It actually feels more like a car oh. than a 4x4 by sitting inside it. 
there's normally when you're four by fours they're high up, right? But the positioning and everything it just feels more Come like on, you're in a car. Okay. Yeah. And it's a very comfortable right. car. Can I just have a When we first turned up at his doorstep, just two Asian guys dressed in black. He was being a bit worried, thought, who are these guys? And I think that's why he didn't want two of us to go in the test drive. But I think his dad is a bit more comfortable. He's invited in, in the house to have a cup of tea. And um, hopefully if the deal gets done, but the negotiating Rob is very hard. He's a hard cooker, so he will do his negotiation and I think the other guy's not budging. So if they do come to agreement, then we'll be taking this car. But by looking at it, I think it's absolutely a gorgeous, absolutely a gorgeous car, beautiful. And I think he will be buying it, he's trying. But this area is really nice by looking at it. All these houses on here, all around it. It's proper nice. Proper nice, a proper peaceful area, but the deal should be done. The deal is done, it was a very hard compromisation, the guy doesn't want to budge, I don't tell you the figure, the guy didn't want to budge, he didn't want to budge, but finally after about 20 minutes, or well, actually longer, half an hour, they've come to agreement and yes, he's bought the car. He's bought the car, we're going to pick the car up later on. But he seems happy because as soon as he saw the car, he fell in love with it. When I saw the car, I told him, look, if you like the car, buy it. And um, that's what he's done. So now they're all happy. He's just paying the deposit now. I'm going to go back to Sheffield. So, Porsche Cayenne it is. Hopefully I'll see you okay. Thursday morning yeah. and let Oli know about what train times. Okay. See you later, love. Okay. So what's your name? Irene. Irene. Okay, yeah. Irene. Good to take see care. you. Okay, Bye. take care, love. Bye-bye. Thank you. So, right, Rob, man, we made it all the way came from Sheffield to Leamington Spa. Tell me, what did you think of that car, bro? It's a great car, man, but uh, forget the car. Get that house. Look at that house. Yeah, proper traditional, traditional Warwickshire house. Yeah, we've covered the house, but people don't want to see the house. They want to talk about the car. The Tell car. us about the car. Okay, man. the car has been well looked after. Uh, I think they like really, um, yeah. they like the, yeah, they looked after it. Definitely. What made you buy it? So, I don't know, I wanted one, but it's a lot more than what I wanted to spend on one of them. I think it's the condition and everything made me spend that a little bit extra. Damn man. Yeah. It's too but much. It's the owner is a tough cookie, isn't it? Proper tough cookie, man. You didn't want to budge at all, did it? Can't believe it. Yeah. It doesn't want to budge. But honestly, by looking at that car when I first went inside, it looks beautiful. Even the tan leather, what was like a dark chocolate. Yeah, you had like a bit of chocolatey on the top. chocolate effect. And then tan. Great condition yeah so what is the car again a porsche cayenne porsche cayenne um s petrol uh no no they're three liter diesel three liter diesel fast put it on sports modes and it does so fly. what's bhp on it i'm not sure what bhp is um but it's got loads of extras it's got the pan roof it's got the wheels it's got the air kit it's got the air suspension it's got yeah. a job lock basically it's got everything is fully kitted yeah, so guys, yeah. I hope you liked my video. If you do like it, please subscribe to my channel. And this is the second one we did the car. The first one we bought the Range Rover Sports, as I showed in my earlier video. This is the second one we've done with the Porsche Cayenne. So we're gonna pick you up in the next few days and uh, keep on watching my channel. Thank you very much, peace.